then the minifier, we minify all the CSS files, JS files, and HTML files, right? So let's just take a look at that real quick because it's the last thing on this, on this whole thing right now. I broke it off. I didn't save it or anything. By the way, what we're going to have soon is automation. So this thing will set to check new websites that have been added that it hasn't checked before. And if the page speed's too low, whatever's low, it will go and minify those to catch them up. Can we have it minify everything? Oh, absolutely, without question. By the way, by the way, I need to cover this. Page speed analyzer. What if you did not do a WH on server? What if you did a specific account? Right now, it's just a separate tool. Okay, and pretty soon we're gonna have this thing blend, so you have the option of, of doing them both at the same time. Okay. What it will do is show me all the subdomains of that account. Do you get it? All the subdomains, right? And they all happen to be the same, so they're probably going to load the exact same way. Now, we haven't built the files to be different, but so we will later. We're going to have them all minified and stuff like that moving forward, right? New files or especially things that people buy, uh, projects, because this takes time to do. So we do this on demand. Yeah, look, all the numbers are going to be the same, right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, that goes to show the point. <laughs> all right, and then that's telling us what's going on. Now, again, what if we auto-minified and came back? All the numbers are improved. What happens when that happens? We rank higher. We rank higher, okay? So everything in the red will be auto-minified. Everything in the yellow can be auto-minified. Even everything in the green can be auto-minified. So if we wanted to minify, it's kind of like this. Let me let me just do it. Okay, emoji samples, okay, emoji sample. Again, this is going to be automated later for everything. Boom. All right. Okay, and when it does come up, which you will, now we're going to be, and it's looking for everything that we need to minify. That's why it's taking longer. It has to find every HTML file, not just the main page, every HTML file. And it has to find every CSS file, every JS file, okay? It has to locate them all so that we can actually select them all and minify them all. Now, when it minifies them, is there the possibility that the website could kind of crash because something got minified in a way that wouldn't work? Well, yeah, there is. As a matter of fact, that's true with every minification tool out there. There is such a thing as you could minify and something cracks, and you go, uh-oh, how do I reverse that? Well, that's just it. When we minify, we're actually creating a way to unwind that minification. And so if something's the matter, we've got a backup, okay? And we can actually restore the backup. We can actually pull it back up. So what it will do is that when it creates the minified version of each file, which is going to save you a lot of space, it's going to compress it and make everything better and faster and load faster, and all your numbers are going to go up in the page speed analysis then if there is an issue, um, we can go look that we can look these up and start selectively restoring them in the actual C panel. Pretty soon we're going to be able to selectively restore in here as well, right? And that way you can selectively restore and go check. Selectively restore and go check until you find which file or files is causing the issue. You get it? And that way you can be more careful. Like what we did find so far, style.css is one thing we don't like to minify. We'll look into it more soon so that we understand better why that is. But right now, if I minify everything except for that one file, and look, this is for all of those installations, it's going to minify every single file for me to, to make them small and compressed. Okay, All the backup files for everything, literally. Wow, 500 per page times two pages, and I hit minify. You know what? <laughs> it's going to get this done so fast. Look at how it's moving on this right now. Do you get it? And so all of a sudden, if I rerun my page speed and analyzer when I'm through, faster, way faster. What's that mean? I'm going to rank higher. What's that mean? Push button, rank improvements. You can make a lot more money just by pressing a button because if your copywriting is unique on the website, and you did everything right, you know, there, there's proper links on the main page, you're not trying to make the main page link to somewhere else, and it's unique copywriting, um, all that stuff is taken care of, and you think, well, you know, I've got a quality website, everything's written out properly, 
How do I get more competitive? That's the thing. Now, again, we're going to have this run in the middle of the night while you sleep automatically, looking for anything that has not been minified already. We're even going to have two or three levels of minification, most likely. For those of you that know what that means, you can create the minified version that the programmer still can read through. You can create the minified version that they cannot read through. And you can leave the file uncompressed, really, as a backup. So you can have three backups. Well, two backups in the operating file. That way, if you ever do need to make a change, it's okay that you minified all the way because you made a copy of the unminified version. So that way, you can go into the unminified version, do your changes, like change the CSS or whatever, or the HTML, and then recompress that file to overwrite. Okay, That way you still have your backup so you can get back to it. Does that make sense? That's cool. So it is possible to unwind. And this process will allow us to switch back uh, when we're all done. In the meantime, you can just do it in your cPanel. It's a piece of cake. What's the point? It just went through, I don't know how many are really here, but a lot. Gosh, well, 600, 550 uh, files in seconds. That's called push button rank improvement. This guy will rank better as a result of what I just did. Most likely, well, he wouldn't actually because he's on a different website than the one I just did. I just did one website <laughs> on of, of all the servers I have, right? I just did one, okay? So other guys who want theirs done, you know, that's just it. It's, it's a service that can be sold. Uh, it's a service that can be um, used as a natural upgrade to things. Um, it's something that you can do with the purchase. We do it for you. You know, there could be favors. You do this for me. I'll do that for you. There's all kinds of things you can do with tool power like this, right? Especially if you have your own server and you're trying to do this with your own websites or the websites for all your downline, uh, whatever it is. Right? We can we can minify files that anybody has on their server. If somebody bought this tool and installed on their server, well install, make sure it works. Then we can apply all of their C panels and we can go through and page speed analyze all of their files. And then we can minify everything. And we can check and make sure it's good. And we can show them the before and after report. So you imagine a guy who's got an old-fashioned website that should be minified so it at least loads quicker. We're going to get him some rank improvement just from that. okay? Uh, and he's got a downline of 500 guys or 10,000. We can use this tool to run through his website and all minify all of those websites for all of his downlines so that everything performs better and Google likes the whole setup better. If you had one domain with tons of subdomains on it, and you auto minified all those subdomains, okay, which this tool will do. It does already. It does already. Then Google's going to like your whole website way, way more and rank it better for the relevant terms. Okay? All right, there's where we're at with this tool now. As we come out with more features and we'll come out with more features, then we'll let you know what those upgrades are to the system. I don't know what the price is yet that we're selling for. I still have to discuss with my programmers. Several people are involved in the creation of this thing. Um, and so we're going to have to make some decision on that, come to some consensus, and then we're going to be able to put the thing out and allow people to buy it. What we plan to do, especially in the early days, is when you buy it, we're going to install it on your server because we have to go through your uh, PHP config settings. Like, let's put it this way. If you wanted to upload a file that's 800 meg, most accounts will not allow it. Okay, That's why you have to go through a dedicated server, because then we can go into the PHP config, and we can change the max file upload size from whatever the default is, I forget, 20 megabytes or 200 megabytes to 800 megabytes, or even from 500 megabytes to 800 megabytes. Or in the case of my largest file so far is 1.1 gig. So I actually have it possible to upload a file that's at least 1.1 gig <laughs> onto the server, right? Because I need it, right? Now, you cannot do that with a shared account. There are a lot of other things you cannot do with a shared account, okay? You can't run all of these actions at once in a shared account because it will not allow that many multiple connections at once, okay? That's why this requires a dedicated server to run on. But if your account is hosted on our dedicated server, then we can help you do whatever you need with all of your add-on domains and your main domain, that kind of thing. Okay? We will probably make it possible for people to get access to the master account on our server uh, to operate their website.
Okay, that, that's something we might come out with, but it's a little ways off. Right now, we're more interested in helping guys who have full-scale dedicated servers get real quality, easy control over all these sorts of things for their website. It will help you rank 